child care is a larger issue than what it has been made out to be in the past. And as soon as we put that to the forefront of these programs we're establishing to help people, I think that's when we'll see real change. I'm a military spouse. I met my spouse while I was in graduate school. Um, he had been stationed at Walter Reed, and I was going to Marymount for my master's degree. We got married around three years together and been together ever since. Once we moved overseas, I was hit with this pretty intense culture shock, not really because of it being overseas, but because I realized that the, the branding of what support there was for military families wasn't really matching up with the reality that I was seeing once I was there. And I had been working in nonprofits and advocacy work uh, before that point, and so I really took notice of the situation around me there in Italy. And it was there that I started kind of piecemealing things apart. Uh, what could be better? What could we do? I realized that if you were overseas and you were a predominantly a woman um, and working, it's because you didn't have children or your children were older and they went to school. And so of course that made me think, wow, if I want to work, I need to not have children because clearly that is the career killer. I did ultimately decide to have a child a year or so later and I was right. The access to childcare at that point, I think was two years for the on-base wait list. So I instead turned towards the advocacy piece. By the time I was able to speak to someone, they were gone the next day. And that's actually why I created Operation Childcare, because no one wants to listen to Kayla Corbett, but they will listen to Operation Childcare. And it's just in this last six months, once I established this business, that people are listening. I have people reaching out to me all the time now. I have the Pentagon, I have all the branches, I have advocates from every walk of life in this military space reaching out. And so it's, it's what really sparked it was the complete lack of access to employment and then doing something about it. Operation Child Care believes that supporting our troops means supporting their families. The end goal is always subsidized child care for everyone. We are here in addition to, not in place of, the systems that we have currently. We are here to supplement until a long-term sustainable solution can be found. Catherine Torres Pommel, who is also on my board of advisors, and she's the one who told me about Warrior Rising. When we were really trying to think of like what could I do to help get this business up off the ground? And this was about five months ago before like the, the traction really started picking up. So now I just use it to the best of my abilities. I would say in working with Warrior Rising, the most impactful part so far has just been the community. So there is always someone there. Luckily, because of networking, because of things like Warrior Rising, I'm able to connect with all of these people that otherwise I wouldn't really be in touch with. Because it's not that, my business isn't a great idea, it's just that it needs to be out in front of people. And the only way I can accomplish that is through networking. I have no other platform. And as a military spouse, relocating all the time, new locations, this virtual atmosphere that Warrior Rising has held has allowed me to kind of maintain that consistency that's allowed me to get to where I am.